Hey gang, I got to go shopping today. We just came out of lockdown and a lot of the province is still locked down, but our area is green. So I was able to go to Michael's and they had grab bags. Now these are gonna be Christmas grab bags, but I'm still excited. I mean, for five bucks, the stuff you get is ridiculous. So, I bought three bags and we're going to go through them and see what I got. Now, this one has been steadily deteriorating since I picked it up. So, we're going to start with that one. And here's why. Holy weight. In the bottom, we have, oh my goodness, three packs of acid-free paper. This stuff is friggin' expensive. I use it for all sorts of things. I'll use it for scrapbooking, for signs, for art projects, of all kinds. It's very pretty. This one is just reds and greens. Oh my gosh, look at the rainbow. These still have value. Um, handcrafters love this kind of stuff, including me. Oh, some of this is so pretty. All right, so in that bag, we got three of those. Let's see if there's a price on them. No, it is the Reflections, which is Michael's brand, but they're still very good quality. All right, now I got a lot of bags of this stuff. What is it? It is Frosty Snow. So basically it's shredded plastic that looks like snow. Great for village scenes, Christmas trees, holiday decorating, nativity scenes, craft projects, and other festive occasions. Holy! This sold for eight bucks a bag. And I've got one. Oh, no, nope, that's something else. I've got two in this bag. I'm just going to kind of try to group things together. So this would be a Christmas holiday cover for tabletops and centerpieces, mantle snow displays, etc. So it's like a, a felt mat so you can have fake snow. And I'm already going, hmm, we can needle felt on that. And that would have been 10 bucks I have used for it. So what do we have here? Sensical scented ornaments. They're little sticks, I think. Oof. Yeah, that's definitely pine. Yeah, they're little sticks. And you can put a hook in the end and hang them around. I would not be able to take more than one of those, but it is beautiful. It does smell like brush cut pine. And these are both white winter fur. Um, I don't see a price, but my whole room smells like a pine tree now. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, and I think the rest of what's in here are picks. So I'm going to kind of group them together. So we have, oh, these are gorgeous. We have Ashland snowflakes. Look how pretty they are. These ones are actually sparkly. This one, the little crystals are sparkly. So we have three of those. They were seven bucks a piece. They're like heavy duty, but they're so pretty. Hmm. I don't know what I'll do with those. <gasps> Look, I think it's a partridge in a pear tree. It doesn't say what it is, but it's cute. Look, it's got little crystals on it, like fluffy feather butt. But this one is gorgeous. It's a swan. Look at it with the feather butt. Oh, that one's so pretty. That one was eight bucks. Heavy. Oh, and it's got a hole drilled in the top, so you could actually use it as an ornament as well, which would probably be more what I would do. 
All right, now next we have two sets of mushrooms. Those are cute and not Christmas. They can be used at any time. They're cute. Those were seven bucks. And then, oh my goodness, guys. Woof, 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 woof. I got a little pair of doggies in their Christmas clothes. Look how cute they are. Those are so cute. And those were eight bucks. So they're a little bent, but that's okay. They're darn cute. They're just little felt dogs. But they're so cute. All right, so that's it for bag number one. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Oh, and I forgot a roll of gold wrapping paper. And it would have been seven dollars. But gold could be used anytime. It's just wrapping paper. I'm happy with that. So I got 18 items in that for $5. I don't think that's a problem. All right, next we're going to go to this one. Again, we're busting out of the bag. But let's get into it and see what we got. I can see poinsettia sitting right at the top. Oh, it's got a little pick wrapped around it. Okay. So we have a little Ashland Christmas pick. Look, they're little curly cues, but I think that they're, yeah, they got wire in the center so you could do whatever you want with them. They're posable. Very pretty. It's almost a rose gold. And of course we have to have poinsettias. Add those to that pile. And then we have this guy. He's also very sparkly. He was a whole three dollars. This is kind of creepy, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, it's kind of creepy. All right. <laughs> so we have crimped paper. What do they call it? They call it shred. And they sell it for seven dollars. So it's good packaging for inside Christmas presents. We have Christmas bows. And these would have been seven dollars. We have raffia. Ten bucks for raffia. When did raffia get so expensive? Wow. And then the crafting stuff. Oh, look at the little pretty Christmas balls. They're so pretty. So they would have been eight bucks. Oh my goodness, what is this? It's an Ashland collectible Santa. He would have been $35. Look at him. Oh, he is so cute. He's got his little list hanging from his arm. He's, I'm going to guess, like a resin in plastic. But he is so cute. Oh, look, he's got even a little clock hanging from him. That is adorable. Look at that little face. He's so cute. That is very nice. I can't believe that was $35 and I got it in a bag for five bucks. Wow. Okay. What else have we got? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness your earmuffs look at look at how cute that is <laughs> those are adorable they would have been eight bucks but they're little christmas earmuffs oh those are adorable i love those all right what else have we got in here oh we got another little <gasps> LED crafting lights. So they're lights and they have little bells on them. See, look at it. Those are so cute. So it requires three AA batteries that are not included. Seven foot in length. It's got
got three light modes and a built-in automatic timer. Wow, those are really cute. I'm just looking for a price here. 17 bucks. Oh, there's a try me. Oh, it did light. Look. The little lights all light up. Oh, that's so cute. That is sweet. What was I saying? That was yeah, $17 for that. I got glitter up my nose. Oh, that's cute. It's a little Christmas frame. A little Santa frame. And you can put your own picture in there. And that was $3. What's here? We have Merry Christmas wine bags. Well, they just call it packaging, but we all know it's for wine. They're very pretty, though. Merry, what does it say? Merry and bright. There we go. And then this one has a tag that says warm wishes. And these would have been seven bucks. What's here? Oh, oh. Oh, what do they call this? Mesh craft strips in red and green. They're, um, they're, oh, they feel really weird. But I'm sure I can find a use for those. They were eight bucks. It's crazy. <gasps> ribbon. We got ribbon. This is $13 ribbon. So there's 25 feet of it and it is wired. But it's like a peachy pink color. I don't think that needed to be cleared as Christmas. It is labeled Christmas, but I don't consider that Christmas colors. All right, what else have we got? Oh, 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 what's this? A table cover, 52 by 70 inches. And it's like little snowflakes. Oh, there, there's the picture. Can you see? Little snowflakes. That's really pretty. And it was Canadian $19. In the U.S. it was only $13. They get everything so much cheaper. Um, oh, I like this one way better. <laughs> it's another little photo frame. But this one's like a little deer. So we got two of those. These are pretty. So this is Food Safe Christmas Tin. And it would have been $8. And there's no dents or marks or anything. It just says, Merry Christmas. I use these for storing all sorts of stuff. So I don't care that it says Merry Christmas. We have some more wrapping paper. So another $7 roll of wrapping paper. This bag is absolutely stuck. I mean, look. How long have I been going on this one? And there's no still left to the bottom. All right, what have we got here? A DIY pre-lit wood ornament. Oh, that is cute. Oh, look. It's a little Santa sleigh with a light in it. Oh, that is so cute. And then you can paint it up yourself. So that was $5. And this is a Christmas wood box. This was a buck fifty. But look, it's got a little snowflake cutouts. It's just a little wood box that you can paint. That's actually really cute. I will find a use for that. <clears throat> oh my goodness, guys. So much stuff. Oh, bonsai. It is called a holiday pencil party. So it's 24 number two pencils with erasers. And this would have been $8. Look at it. Look at all of them. That is so fun. That is crazy fun. I love it. Cool. My nieces might end up with those. All right, what else have we got here? We have got treat bags. Oh, they're little gingerbread house treat bags. So they have the little clips to close them and the little tags. And there's what the bags look like on the back. They're very cute. I will definitely find a use for those. We have a Disney sticker pad. So I'm going to pop this bad boy open. Uh, or not. Or not. So it looks like it is Toy Story. It 
So there's Disney stickers. And that would have been... No price on that one. What have we got here? Oh, we got little foam stickers of Christmas trees. Those are really cute. And you can see they're foam stickers. And there was 12 pieces in there and it was five bucks. So the whole cost of the bag would have bought me these. We have small ornament hooks. You always need ornament hooks. You think you don't, and then you do. And if you don't use them as ornament hooks, you can reuse the wire for other crafts. What have we got here? Oh, oh, oh. A wood stamp set. There are 12 pieces for $15. And there's the stamps. This is crazy, guys. Look at all the stuff that's in this bag. I'm going to have to open my own craft store just to use it all. A snowflake coaster mold. So I'm going to assume this is, yes, this is a resin mold. And funny enough, I've been thinking of using um, something like a coaster mold to try to make spindles. And I picked up some resin today on sale. I might end up using that. It's very cute. Um, price would have been a surprise at the cash register because it's not on the box. <laughs> so what have we got here? We have a gift tag wall decor, $7, the letter Q. Anybody watch Star Trek? Q! I'm such a nerd. That's like really heavy duty though. Oh, 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 they're little Christmas mittens. Look it. But they have like the little button so you can turn down the flap or turn up the flap. I wonder if those will fit me. They look like the super stretchy ones, so I think I can wear them. Oh, again. And then you can just flip this over. And then your fingers are covered and you got a little cute cat. Meow, meow. He looks like Grumpy Cat. These are so cute. And they would have been $8. Now I gotta get it off my hand. There we go. Those are so cute. All right, what else have we got? We're still going in this same bag. It's crazy loaded. So we have now Buffalo Snow Furries. What's the difference between these and the first one? This was frosty snow, and this is buffalo snow flurries. Oh, okay. One shinier than the other. But it is basically just crumpled plastic, but we'll find use for it. Some crafter will come up with something brilliant for that. All right, here we have little toothpick toppers for, you know, either your hors d'oeuvres or cupcakes a whole pack of them uh, 12 pieces would have been three dollars what is this whoa whoa it is a Christmas squishy animal it's a walrus Squish. I bet you that's really loud for you guys that's cool and he would have been eight dollars I always call Bobo walrus stash because he's got these long curved whiskers he looks like a walrus that's so cute. Uh, we're getting close to the bottom, guys. What do we got here? Candy decorations for your gingerbread house. Um, no price on these ones. But you can see there's a little door and a couple of windows and a couple of candy canes. Those are cute. And candy never goes bad, does it? what do we have here we have washi tape two of washi tape and one of foil tape and this would have been $3.99 in Christmas colors green red and gold but you can use these at any time so who doesn't love having a little bit of washi tape what's this oh this one's for you it's a little Christmas ball it's very cute it's tin I think yeah, it's tin. 
and it's like $12 for that. So now we have Q and U. And here we have, oh, this is awesome, some Christmas beads. These would have been eight bucks. The beautiful green. These ones are uh, faceted and these ones are like, they feel like semi-precious stones almost. They're very heavy, so they'd be glass beads. And I will find a use for those. I could never have enough beads. Beads are always good. And the last item in this bag is another sensical. But this one is called Oh Christmas Tree. Oh, that one's way bigger than oh yeah, I don't like that one. I don't like the old Christmas tree. I like the fur. The fur one was nice. I don't know where it is. It's buried over here somewhere. This one. The white winter fur. I like. The old Christmas tree smells super thick. This one smells like a Christmas tree. I just got to clear my nose because that other one really stunk. Oh yeah, that's my favorite. So if you're shopping next year and you want some sensicles, I recommend these ones. Not these ones. These ones stink. All right. So we have one more bag left. I have to show you this. Look at this mess. Isn't that crazy? So I'm going to take a second and I'm going to tidy that up and then I'll come back and we'll do the last bag. Yay! All right. I tried to tidy it all up, but guys, there's so much stuff here. I'm going to have to really work to get it all pulled away, put away. Fortunately, with my craft room, I do believe I have storage for whatever I'm going to hold on till next year to sell either in a yard sale or sell it when the Christmas season comes back around. We'll see. All right, let's get on to our last bag. Bobo's over here now trying to climb into the bags. So this one was the biggest bag. And you can hear it's got lots of tins in it, which I'm fine with. I love tins. Ripping right into it. So we have oh, Santa and a penguin. And each one of these I think is eight bucks. We have, oh, this one's very pretty. I like that one a lot. What do we have over here? We have another Santa and a penguin. And I think that's it. Nope, wait, there's more tin. Well, one more anyways. Another Santa and a penguin. So that's four tins at eight bucks a piece in this one bag. So we have some more. This stuff is the frosty snow. So this is the shiny stuff. We have another set of the crafting lights. And these were $17. It's crazy that they just throw this all into treat bags. Oh, these are cool. There's 12 little snaps. So you put these in your Christmas crackers and when you pull them apart, they go bang. So there's 12 of them in there and it would have been uh, $3.99, four bucks. That's kind of cool, actually. Uh-oh, another Scentsy. Oh, it's old Christmas tree. Getting rid of that. Oh, another Christmas tin. Oh, look, it's a little snowman family. They're so cute. All right. I have boxes in here. So I'm going to pull out these two first because they look like a match set. Surprise! What are they? So this is a Christmas cottage. So it has 32 foam shapes, 196 foam, 96 foam stickers, eight printed paper paper stickers, nine felt stickers, and an instruction sheet. So you can make up a little Christmas cottage. It was $25. And then I have a second one, which is the North Pole train station. 
and it was also $25. Now I have nieces that would probably enjoy playing with these. Even though they don't celebrate Christmas, I still think they would have fun playing with them. And now we have a couple more boxes. So what do we have now? We have the Christmas Countdown. So it's got all the little numbers there. And this one was $13. And this is the Unicorn Wonderland. Look at it. It's a pretty little unicorn with the Christmas tree and the kitty cat in the box. Can you see the kitty cat in the box? That's cute. So that would have been $13. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. More sensies. Uh-oh. More sensies. I take it they weren't very popular. Probably because people smelled the old Christmas tree. The old Christmas tree sucks. Oh! Winter white fur. Yay! Winter white fur. Yay! And winter white fur. Score! probably will never use them but I like those better so why can't I celebrate holy guacamole that is some ribbon so that is red sequins I'm trying to see if they if they flip yeah they're not the fancy kind this would have been $20 Canadian so it's three and a half inches by six feet, and it's red sequined ribbon. What's this? Oh, jingle bells. Oh, oh, lights. Doesn't have a tri needle, but they're little jingle bell lights. Look how cute they are. And they would have been $17. That's cool. Right, I'm just going to lift this up. Because we're down to all the little stuff now. Oh, so we have some garland. My dad's name was Garland. So of course every Christmas we'd string them up. <laughs> so this is $20 for this silver garland with the little berries and leaves. It's very pretty actually. And there's two of them. So at five feet a piece I now have ten feet. Of Christmas garland and it's very very pretty I love silver and blue at Christmas time those are my favorite colors so we have another pack of the crackers so you can make your own uh, Christmas crackers oh 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 these are treat bags so there is 24 of them and it would sold for five dollars so it has like uh, clear plastic bags with the little symbols on it and then little ties on the back so you can make like little treat bags and we have uh some more of the washi tape and foil tape and what are these home sweet home holly jolly and peace these are ballpoint pens and they just have little sayings on them they would have been four bucks and they are black ink i'll use them Oh, we have some more of that peachy pink Christmas ribbon. So that would have been 25 feet of wired ribbon. And it would have been $13. I'm happy with the ribbon. Oh, I am super happy with the ribbon. So this one would have been $13. It's an eighth of an inch wide by six yards. It's like a braided in white and gold. It's very pretty. And this one, oh. Three eighths of an inch by 10 yards and it is $13 and it is like a rose gold glitter. Can you see that? It's so pretty. So that is it for the last bag. Overall for $15, I got a lot of stuff. I am not displeased and these grab bags are always, always so much fun. So I will separate it out into stuff I want to keep for Christmas next year, things that I can use to craft now, and stuff that I will probably list on Facebook Marketplace for next Christmas season. 
or possibly in July because people do Christmas in July so I might put some of them up in June for people who do the Christmas in July celebrations so that's everything I got if uh, you go to Michael's Hall I'd love to hear what you got I'm very happy with mine I really feel I got more than my money's worth and the best part is I got a lot of stuff that I feel I'm going to use so thanks for joining me guys if you like you know sometimes random but total craziness subscribe and I'll see you later bye